Well, speaking of which, uh, coming up next, uh, our next car is an absolute beauty uh, from uh, Sandy and Jim Danto, the 1967 Chevrolet Corvette. You can hear it from here. What a rumble. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, um, this was the th third model year of the Stingray, which came out in uh, uh, 60, no, yeah, came out at 53 uh, but this is an absolutely gorgeous car looks highly original what I one of the things I like about it is he's got the original wheels the original side exhaust uh, an original paint scheme this is a car that has not been spoiled in any way and it in a way it uh, marked a sort of high point uh, for uh, Corvettes again it was the third year of after the 1963 split window coupe and uh, 427 by those standards had 435 horsepower actually the way we measure horsepower today it'd probably be more like 275 to 300 but still an incredibly potent machine and as you could tell <coughs> the sound is sound is commensurate it just yeah, sounds great absolutely and there is something about uh, about the wheels now you're saying that you know, people are free to do what they want with their cars but keeping it to the original specs and sort of the way it looks is, is something that uh, you like to see well it depends whether you're a purist whether you want to preserve the aesthetic value of your car or whether you want to modify it to the way you like it and you know mostly the 60s and 70s cars tended to have skinny tires and little wheels and a lot of people will see a lot of cars today that have modern wheels. Uh, it bothers me a little bit, but if the owner likes it, hey, it's their it's their car. Well, yeah. And the other th uh, the other thing about this, we always hear, you know, uh, a car depreciates uh, as soon as it drives uh, off a lot. But uh, several years later, it begins to appreciate. This is uh, definitely uh, one of those models appreciated aesthetically, but also, I suppose, in financial terms. Yep. Uh, Eric Gorgeous, our, our friend from uh, Craftsman's Legacy and co-host here, uh, talking to the folks along Nine Mile Woodward here at the Dream Cruise. Uh, Eric, an incredible car, 67 Corvette. Over to you. Hey, man, this is a beautiful car. Thank you. Very Wonderful. Much. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank I you. appreciate it. Right. Love it. So tell me about it. How did you uh, How did you come, come well, to it? Well, I have always been a Corvette nut. I yeah. have a lot of Corvettes over the years. And back in the day, I had the same car, basically. Same year, same engine, uh, different color. And when I sold it in 1970 and traded it in on a new Corvette then, I, I just always wanted to have another 67, 435 horsepower, tri-power, solid lifter cam. And it's just, in the sound of it, it's just, it's been, it's just great. So I always wanted it. And I waited and waited and finally, I was at a uh, Mecham Bloomington Gold auction in Illinois. Okay. And I found this car, and I and I wanted black over red. I was, that was the combination I was looking for, because black was the rarest color in '67. This car, really? this car had just come off of a restoration. It's a numbers matching car, so wow. the engine and the drivetrain are the same pieces that came with the car when yep. it came off the line. And uh, so I saw the car at auction. And I knew I had to have it. And I bought it, and I've had it ever since. I've actually had it for eight years now. Eight years? Yeah. And do you drive it much? No, hardly <laughs> ever. And uh, I take it out once in a while for a little of a spin. All I, right. I, Man, what a beautiful car. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming thank out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Fred, right. uh, uh, Jim and Sandy Danto, 1967 Corvette Stingray, absolutely gorgeous.